Yeah. Whatever happened to Canada? The Canada I grew up in, where a person's rights were adhered to and and uh, injured workers weren't victimized uh, by a bad faith act and people that enact this act. Uh, you know, it astounds me what's happened to her. You know, my father and his brothers and countless other family members have fought for this country and that and, and helped to make her what she 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 was. Uh, but that seems to have gone by the wayside, uh, not through any fault of her own, but because our politicians, the people that we elect, that we pay immense money to, to look after our best interests, well, turns out they're all bought and paid for by big business, unions, any pretty much anybody that's got the cash can come in and uh, purchase a politician's uh, uh, vote in, in any of our uh, legislatures. Uh, you know, it's all about lobbying, you know, what, what can you get away with, what can you do? Uh, and they've uh, pretty much lobbied our country right out from underneath us. People just don't realize that uh, they basically don't have any rights in their own country anymore, even even though what these people are, are doing is totally illegal. The courts, the courts are every bit as bad because uh, they follow the agenda that these people are doing. Now, it's my contention that the WCB Act isn't even legal. It should have been uh, reformed in 1982. And, and because these people aren't following the Meredith Principle, it nullifies the, the, the agreement. Now, if this is the case, then the Supreme Court of this land is making judgments on something that is totally illegal, and they know it, but they're following the status quo. What does that make the, the Supreme Court? You know, it just, it just compounds the, uh, the, 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 the craziness of this situation. Now, we're not talking about criminals here. We're talking about decent working people, like those folks out there at that air, uh, Cascade Air Aviation there. They're good folks. All they wanted to do was earn a living and provide for their families. But now this has been taken away because of the bottom line, the almighty dollar, and, 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 and how can we best drive the public into the ground. And, you know, I kind of thought about it this morning, you know, and what... What these people are doing is they're building dynasties. They know that they won't live forever, that they'll die, but their 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 offspring will uh, take over and they'll walk right into a dynasty. You know, it's it's the same old deal like they call in uh, Justin Trudeau the Prince of Canada. Well, excuse me, but we don't have a royalty in this country anymore. Our royalty was over in England, and Trudeau had absolutely nothing to do with being royalty. But anyways, him included, all these people included, knew that this act was a bad faith act. Now, if Mr. Justin Trudeau wants to do something, why doesn't he get up off his arse and take a look at this uh, WCB act and what it's doing to his people? Because he's a Canadian, after all. He's just like us. And, uh, you know, but all these people including the politicians and, and Rob Nice, uh, uh, Nice, I believe his name is, uh, he's on that uh, website, the Kathy Tomlinson's website there for CBC News, and uh, he commented that where, where are all the politicians, where are the human rights people that, to speak up on this, where are the unions? None of them are speaking up. It's because they're all involved. They are part of the problem. So we have to go after them all. Doctors, lawyers, union people, all of them. We have to go after them all. We have to put the sp shine the sp spotlight on these people. That's what you have to do. 
you you don't have any choice you're in a fight to the death you're you, <laughs> and you might say I'm over dramatizing I'm not you're in a fight for your very existence just like I am I'm in a battle that that is just it's horrendous and it's it's all because of what these people done to me and and what do these people do well they hire shyster lawyers and uh, PIs to take pictures of uh, private uh, uh, private dicks to uh, take pictures of people bending over picking up their groceries you know so that they can deny claims they hire guys like Hugh uh, Herves their uh, psychiatrist to uh, sneak into meetings with people and, and set up meetings with people to uh, uh, listen to them so that he can judge them as malingering fakers or judge them uh, uh, criminally dangerous so that they could have them put away. People better wake up to the fact that this isn't a democratic country. We're living in a fascist state. These people are fascists and they're evil. You better wake up. You don't go to meetings with them. Stay to hell away from them. If they demand that you go to a meeting, you have your lawyer call them and say, no, he won't be coming. That's what you do. Because these people are bad. <laughs> they, they don't even come close to being human. I mean, how could you be human and do what you do to people? Destroy their lives, destroy their families. And, and, and they, don't even, they don't even consider the ramifications of what they do. You know, people hanging from rafters with uh, denial uh, uh, letters in their, clutched in their cold, dead fingers, and uh, people like that fella there that they're having the the uh, coroner's meeting on uh, Kadar, I think it is, well, East Indian fella anyways, truck driver who, who killed himself in his brother-in-law's kitchen, you know. People go to work in the morning expecting to come home to their, fam their family and loved ones at night. But sometimes they don't. And, and then these people further victimize the victim. It's one, it's one great big uh, terrorist attack on a person's sensibility. This is what these people do. Uh, they talk about terrorism out in the world. They, they perfected it. They destroy people at will. They don't even think about what they do. They'll they'll call you a thief. They'll call you a, uh, an alcoholic or a drug addict. Uh, it, they'll use any means, any illegal means they will use up until, I don't know, personally, I'm beginning to wonder if they maybe even might have somebody killed, you know, because they'll do anything else. So what's the difference? What's 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 that one, one more step that they'll, that they'll take? I mean, they'll drive a person knowingly to suicide. So what's the difference between that and having somebody killed? But anyways, it just goes on and on and on what these people have been allowed to do because they figure they're omnipotent, that they can't be touched. But according to Section 52 of the Charter of Rights, that isn't true. So it's time, people, to get up off our arses and start to scream and holler about this. This is what we're doing. And and it's the working man against the enemy. Big business, unions, all of them. Because the unions are no longer for the working man. They're for big business. They're, they're big business. Guys like Jim Sinclair, they're not for the working man. They're for Jim Sinclair. Anyways, gotta go. But...